Okay. I just wanted to do this, um, this uh, bonus state of mind, if you will, just to talk. Um, first of all, my name's, this is how it goes, the state of mind. I don't know. I just talk. <laughs> my name's uh, Maurice Bernard. I'm a, I'm an actor, health advocate. Uh, I've been on General Hospital, the hit show, General Hospital, for close to 30 years. And um, my character in the show, Sonny Corinthos, he has bipolar. I have bipolar. This is for people who just tuning in for the first time, don't know what state of mind is, because I know a lot of you probably heard this over and over again, uh, which is, you know, it's fine. Um, and I'm very proud of General Hospital for um, bringing mental illness into the show. Uh, when I first started acting, I went through a lot with uh, being bipolar, and I also lived with depression and anxiety. And, uh, but when I first got into acting, I was told not to talk about being bipolar because I wouldn't get hired as an actor. So I didn't talk about it. And then I got General Hospital and decided one day to do a little interview in this magazine. And by chance, a, a, a boy wrote me a letter. And that's what you did back then. It wasn't social media like it is now. It was just letters. And he wrote me a letter that uh, whatever I had said in that interview helped him cope with his brother's suicide. And since that day, I, I thought to myself, if I can just talk about my experiences with mental health and, and life, and I guess I can help people. And then you couldn't shut me up <laughs> for 30 years now. That's all I've been talking about, you know, on Oprah, on this show, on that show, just talking about mental health. Because it's something inside of me that even if I wanted to stop, I can't. Because it's like, it, it, I know what I went through and what I continue to go through and how hard it is and difficult but you can live a productive life and you can get over whatever you think you can't get over. That's the key. Now I'm talking. Now I'm going to talk. I get a lot of people who are struggling. And I'm telling you, no matter how hard mental illness, bipolar, depression, anxiety is, no matter how, how difficult you think it is in the moment, you will get through it because it will pass. And I've been in this situation so many times where I'm like, I, I'm never going to get through this. There's, my life's going to end. How, what am I going to do? You get through it. And guess what? After you go through whatever you go through, if you do what needs to be done, professional help or just you know, changing your thought process, whatever it is. I believe, and it's happened to me every time, I believe God, life, rewards you. You get stronger. You say to yourself, I went through that. I'm proud of myself. Ah, boy, you see, this is what, this is why I love the state of mind, because it's not a, when I, I love the fact that I'm able to talk to these actors, non-actors, whoever, and it's not a, it's not an interview. It's just a, it's just like a conversation where I get to know whoever's in front of me. 
and they tell me about their life and so many actors have opened up and it's amazing and and what what i try to tell these actors is the amount of love that you get from state of mind is unreal and i know it's my show so they think oh maybe it's just a ask anybody who's been on the show um when you read the comments and you read that you're helping people people just need to see other people especially celebrities because a lot of times celebrities keep it keep things to themselves um they, they like to see other people go through the same things they're going through and I'll never forget when, when I was going to stop State of Mind. It just took one person to say to me, the fact that I can watch State of Mind and, and, and know that I'm not alone. And I thought, wow, I got to keep going. And I did. And, that, and that's where I'm at. Anyway, listen, <laughs> if you like what you see, subscribe because uh, and it's you don't have there's no money involved. Just subscribe. Um, I'm very proud to say that we're going to we're getting we're climbing to hit 100,000 subscriptions. So subscriptions, I can't say that name. And it's very difficult to do that. And it's it's only because of you guys that are into the show and watch the show and love the show and um and we're we're gonna get there by the summertime i i would imagine anyway listen i want to talk now about uh the four guests i have coming up in the next four weeks because i think i've talked enough about uh, everything else. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk that much about uh, what I just talked about. I, you know, and I don't remember what I, even what I just talked about. And it's great. Uh, so I want to talk now about the four guests that I have coming up on State of Mind. As you watch this, it's, you're probably going to see that uh, Lydia look is on at this point. And she plays Miss Wu on General Hospital. And she is, uh, she came in here like gangbusters, man. You know, it's like, ba 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 ba. And she was just, made me laugh. I can't tell you how many times she made me laugh. And, and the reason that I wanted her on was because so many people have asked me to have her on. And I find her, very talented and very interesting, but that's so I have her on. But what I do with State of Mind is I just have people on that I find interesting, that I want to get to know, and uh, I don't push it on anyone because that's not my personality. If you if you want to do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. It's up to the, the individual. Maybe sometimes people don't want to speak about their. Uh, but this this is the state of mind is not just about mental health. It's just about life. And that's what I what I love about it. It's not like I'm going to get in here. All we're going to talk about is your nervous breakdown you had when you were 20 years old. Uh, it's not just that. It's just getting to it's, you know, just talking and having a fun conversation. So Lydia. I she was born in Singapore and I got to know a lot about her culture, which I love. And she tells a story about her father that's hilarious. And uh, and there's another story that she doesn't really, you know doesn't really talk about much, especially uh, in public. And you'll see what what it is. And it was it was incredible. It truly, was incredible. Then we have Vincent Arizari. We started out just talking, and it was amazing. By the, by the middle to end, it was deep. We got into 
Well, it, there was there was some there was some stuff that was cool because I've been a fan of his since he did the Clint Eastwood movie Heartbreak Ridge, and and I think you know I, he he pretty much got every role that I went up for he got, <laughs> and, and uh, so I might have been a little jealous, but because we have a similar look, he's probably better looking, but that's beside the point. Uh, so we talked about Clint Eastwood. And we talked about somebody that's very close to him who um, committed suicide. And uh, I'm so thankful that he, we got to talk about some really deep, important things, especially for him. And uh, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, next, next, we have J.R. Martinez. Now, what can I say about J.R. Martinez? This guy, what he's been through in his life, and not and, and not just what happened in Iraq, which is, wait till you hear him tell this story. How he, I mean, I, I wanted, was going to give away something right now, but I'm not going to give anything away. How he visualized everything was mind-boggling for me to watch. Okay? And then he has a story about his father, unreal, because we talked about everything from the beginning to the end. To, for this guy to go through what he's been through, to be on a soap opera, all my children, and to win Dancing with Stars, Uh, enough said. Um, then we have Tyler Christopher will be the last one we have. I don't want to say this is like a season because after Tyler, th this show may look different or not. Or it's just going to continue to be what it is with guests and guests and guests. I can't answer that. I mean, I... I can't answer that right now, but I will say it's going to continue to be what it's been and even better. That was that was good. Tyler Christopher. Um, Tyler Christopher is my friend. He, he's been through also an, an incredible, incredible life. We talk about, we talk about alcoholism, we talk about mental illness, bipolar, we talk about our friendship, we talk about life, we talk about uh, homelessness. It is, it, it's, it's, a, it's powerful. I'm proud of him. He didn't skip a beat in this interview. He didn't skip a beat. He just kept it. He did it, said it. Didn't leave anything out. I asked him everything that I wanted to ask him. He answered it incredibly. And I just can't wait for y'all to see his interview. Can't wait for y'all to see every interview I just mentioned coming up. Um, and I just want to say it also, I want to thank everyone um, on my team, which is Sergio, Melissa, my wife, We've all just taken this thing from the car. Hi, Avery. <laughs> Hello. Let me talk to you about being bipolar. Hi. Yes. Yeah, every Sunday, man. Every Sunday in that car. I, I, I told my mom yesterday, I said, you know, mom, for a year on, in the car, 
I only missed one day because I couldn't mentally or physically do it. I couldn't get out of bed. But every other Sunday that I was not feeling well, I kept going. And I, and I would get to the, sometimes I would be in such bad shape with anxiety. And I would get to the phone and I was hoping that nobody noticed <laughs> that I was messed up. Cause, and then I'd hear the comments, you know, I'd see the comments and I'd go, oh, who's going to say, do you, are you all right? <laughs> no one would say anything because I would act good. Yeah. So from that to starting here and it was shaking in the beginning, we had to figure out how to do this. And, and now to where we're at now is uh, just an accomplishment that I'm very proud of. And uh, I can't wait to see what happens. But, you know, at the, in the end, it's not about, it's only about how it affects you guys. That's what, that's the main thing. How it looks or how the interviews are great. It, it, what matters is when I hear from you guys and you say, You just say great things. That's what matters. Anyway, okay. It's enough for me babbling. Sometimes I hear about <laughs> All right. Uh, see you next Sunday.